my crafty friends. Well, I um, I had to cut down my cord, I mean my drive band, and make it smaller in order to get it to work reliably. And um, and I found some more clamps so I can clamp it down. So I'm ready to play a little bit, and I just thought I would turn on the video and let y'all watch me make this bat. Um, it's just going to be a mishmash. I've got some more locks that I can put in it. I've got some white top. I've got some brown top. I've got some of that um, alpaca that I spun. Uh, some I didn't realize I still had some more of that. So I've got some of that. I've got some of this that Mary sent me. It's a um, it's a yellow pencil roving. I've got some of these um, that are they're sold in these little bitty bits for felting. It's merino wool. So let's see if we can get it to open up. Come on. There we go. See, it's just a little bit like that. But I have some of that um, red that Tanya um, gave me. And I carded some of it. And so the very first layer down here is the red that was uh, the red locks. Let me see. I think I already I think I already carded up everything that I had. Um, I've also got some silk. So this is going to be a wild but bunch of colors here. I've got um, some sari silk and some Angelina. So we could put a little bit of that in there. Let's see what else I've got in here. I've got a, a different kind of sari silk. Well, it's like this. That's the, the actual um, strings from the saris. And then this is um, a, uh, it's carded silk. So I've got all of that. So we're just going to, and then this is a superwash merino. <coughs> that I, I dyed and I just had a little bit of it left. Okay, now, um, I couldn't, and I don't know that this is the reason. It may just be that it's still really tight, but for some reason, it's now making this sound. So if that bugs you, uh, feel free to just turn the sound off and watch. <laughs> um, what I'm going to do next is put some of this, um, this superwash merino in here. Superwash has been treated so it doesn't shrink or felt. And um, the other wool that's in here will shrink and it will felt. And um, then there's silk that, you know, won't shrink or felt. Well, it might shrink a little, but it won't felt. And um, so we, we're going to have a bunch of different stuff in here that, you know, the Angelina fibers uh, won't. Anyway, we're just going to we're just going to put stuff on here and see what happens. I was able also to move the teeth a little closer together. I got a new screwdriver that fit down into the screws better. And so I was able to do that. And that's what made my drive band um, too long. Just moving it a little bit made the drive band where it just wouldn't work. So I had to trim it off. And um, Okay, there's a lot of fiber in this, so I am doing what they say is a no-no, and that's holding it and slowing it down. Okay, now I think I can let it go, hopefully. But you can see how it's taking it all on a lot better than it did the last time, because these now are really close together. That just made such a huge difference. Okay, so we got that on there, and it's also packing it down a little nicer. And I, it, otherwise, if I hadn't done that, you know, move this a little closer, I would have had to really um, use that packer brush. I better get it just in case, because I'm sure I'll have to use it eventually. But anyway, okay, so um, there's that. I think what I want to do next is put in some of this stuff. And um, I think this will be better if I just do this. 
just paint it on. Those are really big clumps. <laughs> um, try not to have such huge clumps all in one place. It'll get um, blended in later, but let's go ahead and um, spread it out a little bit more. Now this is definitely, um, because of all these things, this will definitely be um, a more artsy kind of bad. It will not be... Um, It will not make a smooth worsted yarn, but that's okay. Um, I think I'm going to, oh well, why not? Just put a little of this on there too. It's fun to have just little bits of all kinds of stuff in there. Even things you probably wouldn't normally put together look good together in these um these kinds of artsy bats. I'll do another video later um, where I spin it so you can see what it looks like. And I'm going to try to spin it um, a thicker yarn than I normally spin so that it'll um, all the pretty stuff will show up better. We'll see. You know, bats like this kind of spin how they want to spin. Um, so let's do a few of these. Whoops, I just dropped some. We're going to do a few of these locks. And um, I'm just going to fluff it like this. Just with my hand. I'm not going to card it or anything because um, they're real short. And um, I think this will... the real It's real bouncy wool. This is another fleece that Tanya gave us... Um, three fleeces and this is another one that I just washed yesterday and um, it's a very very bouncy crimpy wool so we'll put some of this in here Okay, let's brush it down a little bit, and let's do another layer of that, because we need a little more than that. Now, it, it is um, dropping some vegetable matter, dirt, whatever, even though it's been washed. Um, when you get a fleece and you work with it, all the way, even through the plying and the washing of the skein, you'll get some stuff coming out of it. It's amazing how much stuff stays in there. Um, but that's just part of part of working with the fleece. Okay. Get that out of there. Oh, I'm getting it all over that. Okay. Now, this is not going in straight. It's going in all jumbledy, so it just pulls, it kind of straightens it out a little bit, but it's mostly staying kind of jumbled up on there. One more batch. I'm going to move this over here and do it over the trash can instead of over the carter. Um, I'll try to be fast so you don't have to get bored. Just look at the prettiness while I'm doing this. Uh, and as you as it cards um, onto the drum carter, some of the some more of that stuff will come out. So. Um, and then you pick some out when you spin it. And, okay. 
here we go. I dropped the rest of this on the floor, so this is this is all we're going to put in here. Alrighty. Okay, I like that. And then I think what I'm going to do next is this bit of um, this kind of burgundy merino. It's a lot like the um, stuff that, see here's, this is top, okay, and it's got a piece buried inside it. So, um, it's just, it's just part of it. If you can't stand that, spinning's not your thing. <laughs> Unless you want to spin silk or cotton. Of course, you find stuff in cotton too, but less in silk. You're not going to find as much stuff to deal with in silk. Okay. That was still kind of thick. All right. Okay, some of the times are getting a little bit full, but most of them, they look are not, not even half full. On a carter this size, uh, you can usually get about two ounces of stuff on it, if you, especially if you pack it. Um, let's just see if I can get some of this. Oh, there's some more of these. Let's just go ahead and put them on here. All right. Okay. And now then, I'm probably, I'm going to try to paint this on. Um, we'll see how it does. Okay. Just getting caught on my liquor and brush. That's not a good plan because then it starts coming in from both places. Okay, I think that's enough of that. All right, and I'm going to put some of this brown. Um, and I'm going to do it in um sections like this. Just fluff it open. And one thing, when you're making this kind of a bat, you're not worrying about getting even coverage of, you know, the same thing everywhere because it's it's going to be um, kind of a mixed up thing anyway. So you don't have to worry about where it goes on and making sure it spreads all the way across and any of that stuff. Which makes it easier. All right, come on. Ooh. All right, let's do some more. Spread it out a little bit here. Ah, 
just because I want to, not because you have to. do one more batch of that and then we might do a little that's actually white because our um, our locks were not white they were kind of a cream color so it might be fun to have some little pop of white in there Honestly, I could still put quite a bit more on here, but I don't think I'm going to. After I put a little bit of the white, we're gonna we're gonna call it good. And I'm gonna do this one. I put any of this in there. Let's put a little bit. <laughs> oh, there's no place to stop. Okay, we're going to paint this one on too. Otherwise, it'll just keep going forever and ever. Okay. I'm thinking I need to get those other locks. Um, I'm going to pause for just a second and see if I can reach them. Okay, I found it and I kind of fluffed it. And so now we're just going to put this on. Um, sometimes if you have... Uh, other things that are not wool, it's better to make your top um, of the bat wool because it'll hold things together better. Okay, come on over here. Okay. All right. Now then, let's go around. And right here is where we're going to take it off. I forgot to get my tool. It's inconvenient when the handle stops right up here beside where you're taking it off. But you need to do little increments um, when you have a, quite a bit on there because it um, doesn't really want to break. And I've only got it clamped on this side and so that's, let's see if we can...
Well, there's some bits. Okay. Now then, we're going to take this and we're just going to roll it off. We're going to roll off a bat here. Okay. This is what the bat looks like. Okay, this is the top side. This is the bottom side. And then there's all those sandwich layers in between, which is why you break it up and re redo it so that you're you have more sandwich layers um, spread out instead of just in, you know, one set of layers. I'm going to break this into four pieces and we're going to, um, I'm going to spread them out. Like that. Already looks kind of pretty, doesn't it? Okay. And then we're going to, actually we're going to start from this end. And we're going to go slow. It picks up better when we go slow. And there's one fourth of it on back on there. Now I'm going to spread this out. And we're going to do the same thing again. I'm just lightly holding it so it doesn't go all go on there in a the clump, making it pull it out. Excuse me. Okay. And every time you do this, it mixes the stuff in there better, um, better and better. I usually card about three times. If you do more than that, you, um, it, it, um, I don't know, I think it takes some of the interest away. <laughs> If you do more than that. Let's go ahead and get it. 
this is going to be kind of confetti yarn. <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to call it anyway, it's confetti because it's got so many colors and textures and everything all mixed together. And um, the more you do this, the more um, the more your yarn will look alike uh, throughout the whole bat so that you can get a skein of yarn that um, that all kind of you know goes together but you can put bats on here and I have done some where um, you just put a color you know like uh, yellow blue green red purple or something like that and you get a um, you get a bat that makes it it's variegated but it's always going you know that same um, the colors stay together in the bat and they and they mix um, just slightly you do it purposefully to try and keep it um, where they mix only slightly um, I don't think that's as much fun as this <laughs> I don't think that's as much fun as this Okay, now then, um, I'm actually going to take this off, well, I say I am, no, I guess I'm not, I got the handle on too good, I was going to take it off and move it, because it's always coming up where it's in my way when I'm trying to do this, but, um, now this time, because the fibers have, you know, kind of, um, it's easier to pull up, because they're mixing more. I'm going to look at it when I pull it off, but I may decide that two passes is enough for this one. We will see, because it looks really pretty, um, just like this. You can't see it as good as I can, because I don't have the camera where you can, but let me get my... my little bamboo mat here. Oops, sorry. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna leave it just like this. That looks I'm afraid it'll get muddied up too much if I do it again, so Okay. This is what the bat looks like from that side and from this side. And I think confetti is a really good name for it. Um, oh, I love it. I love it. I can't wait to spin it. But we'll spin it on another video. So I hope you enjoyed um, watching me make this puffy, lovely stuff. And, um, <laughs> and we will spin it later. God bless you. Have a great day.